My dad's always got a camera on him, so he's always taking pictures. But when you have days like this and you look at all these old pictures, now I understand why he did it, so. Oh, my dad's always loved cars. He started pedaling cars when he was 14 years old. I have memories when I was five, six, seven years old cleaning cars with my dad on this car lot on Erie Boulevard. I still remember going there with him to this day um, when I was a kid. Some people play catch with their dad, like with a baseball or football or whatever with my dad. We didn't go hunting, we didn't go camping, we didn't go fishing. It was all about cars and antique car shows. And uh, that was, yeah, that was kind of how we bonded. We would talk about things and, you know, learn how to wash cars. You know, my sister and I, we just loved it. My dad still drives his car around all the time. Rides like a 50, you know, a car from the 50s. It runs good. Our old office manager, Shirley, hired her, actually. Um, yeah, so Sheila's been with us forever. She's like, almost like a mom to me. She's great, she still works there. Rob is one of my best friends. I've known him since I was in eighth grade. And him and I did a lot of the same jobs at the dealership as kids growing up. Yeah, absolutely. We used to get in, he used to get in more trouble than I did, but yeah, we got in a lot of trouble together. She kind of grew up and I were her and I were very similar in age, so we've kind of grown up together. Um, and she started work. She's been with us 20 years. Um, she's very special, and again, she does a great job. I remember, especially as a kid, I had um, I had bad allergies. And we'd get in these antique cars that smelled like mothballs, and we'd be wearing shorts, and my sister and I'd be in the back seat, and our skin would stick to these old vinyl seats, and I'd be wheezing and hacking and coughing because my allergies were so bad, and I couldn't breathe, my eyes were watering, and, um, you know, again, a lot of fun, and sorta, of. <laughs> it, was, it was fun. You know, I just, I don't know, I just try to lead by example and teach my son to work hard, and he does. Just like my dad does, my dad still works to this day. This is an article, I think, in the Chittenango Bridgeport Times when they opened up the store. There it is. Joe Caputo at Sun Chevrolet, right there. There's the picture right here. He's currently residing in Syracuse with his wife, Margaret, and two children, Todd, eight, and Christine, my sister, five. Personal contacts and keeping the customer satisfied was the way I sold the majority of my cars, Caputo commented. It's a practice that is very important and one that I hope to continue here. So those are quotes from my dad in 1979 and nothing has changed. Remember one thing my father always says to me is you can always end up back on the boulevard and that's one of those things that my dad has taught me to try and stay humble. Uh, I wish I was as humble as my dad, um, but it's what he always reminds me. That's why I keep those pictures up in my office is got to remember where he came from. I have to set an example for uh, my kids and, and for the people that work in the organization. And uh, again, like I always say, I think that when you own a business and your community is good to you, you have uh, an obligation to give back. And um, that's what we try and do. That's what I try and do.